Welcome to Trading Lounge and the European Indices for Thursday, September the 2nd and starting with the FTSE here on the daily chart. What we're looking for is one more high to uh, come into play through here at least and we could also look at this a little bit differently but I wanted to be conservative and I know that wave four has got overlapping wave structures with one and we're seeing that in other European markets the only other way to count this would put be able to put wave one up there and wave two there and then looking to build a stronger case at that point which is quite valid and we could go there um, if need be um, but I kind of got to sort of suit things up with the uh, US stock market in a way as well so um, yeah, so let's just uh, cruise in here a little bit further into the uh, intraday. So picking it up from this wave four here, so wave one and two here and three here and ABC for wave four, the takeaway here is though that even though this is very lazy and sort of struggling to get up there, this particular move here is in three waves. So we should be taking out that top there or at least getting five waves up through here. Now, also this can be counted differently as well, but um, without getting too much of an overlap of one and two and three and A and a B and a C for wave four here, and then one one, two, three, four, and five up for one and back for two and up for one and back for two and up for three here. Now, I think that's also a little bit of a long shot as well, but we'll stay with that for the time being. We can also look at it um, like this here as well in terms of the one hour chart uh, here with wave four here with one, two, three, four, and five here, but not a very nice fifth wave here. So a little bit of an issue with that. It may be even better with a an A wave here, B wave here, a C wave here. Uh, and then looking for one, two, three, and putting this wave one over here, like I just mentioned in this case, and putting wave one over here. So there's a variety of waves we could count it. Uh, we just need to be a little bit um, mindful of things. But I've always thought, well, while the 7,100 is the nice support here, and we've also got this as a corrective pattern here, and we should be taking out that top, it doesn't really matter. We just need to stay long and keep the stop out of the way. So that's kind of how I'm looking at it. When we look at um, the stock 50, much the same from this wave two down here all the way up to wave three here on this uh, daily chart. Uh, wave four can pull back roughly here to the wave four of one lesser degree, the 38.2% retracement level. Once again, we've got this corrective pattern of wave four here and we need to understand how we can count five waves up here. Um, so we also got a bit of an overlap here too, which you just wouldn't expect at this degree of structure, but we are living in a bit of a weird world at this uh, this stage. So um, I want to be conservative. Once again, we could put wave one where wave three is in that case, um, but we're heading up there nicely. So let's just cruise in and continue with this. So as, as you can see here, wave four here with one and two and um, wave uh, four here. We we're going to look at this as a triangle pattern with the DAX. The DAX has got more of a triangle pattern, but this one seems to be sort of moving off quite nicely. So we'll just leave uh, it as it is and we can go in on the hourly chart and uh, and have a look at that. We don't really need that one there because we've got 4,000, which is a medium level. And then we've got minor group one, which is one, two, and three, or minor levels and minor group one. So that's where we're sort of target heading up into that space and for a count on this we could look at wave four here and look at this as one and two and three and four and five for wave one here and abc for wave two sort of st staying steady with the trend line uh there and we've got one and two here and then it counts one two three four and five we don't need that for wave three and four and up for five. Now, I don't know if wave five is finished. It looks like we've got sort of a wave one and two in there and a possible three, but I can see that this move here is in three waves, so it's corrective. So this wave three may be over here for this as well. So we'll just need to have a look at that as it goes on. But the takeaway here is that the market is moving higher, okay, and should stay above this minor level or not. It could spike down here, but not find it as the resistance, this minor level two here in this case 
and then looking for wave five or five up there at four three which is the next minor level so the dax is a little bit different it's also been struggling in this area here but in the bigger picture we've got wave one two three four and five up for three and we'll be looking for wave four to possibly move back to the wave four of one lesser degree once again we've got this um, medium level here and this is also a medium level as well and we're looking at one and two and three and four and five all a little bit squashy but the dax has been sort of struggling at this point let's go in and have a look at the four hour chart so yesterday and the day before we started to look at it as a triangle pattern i haven't tidied this up just yet but um in in an odd way it kind of uh did what it was what we we're expecting it to do and um yeah i mean how do we play this out through this here now that way d needs to go up there and we've got this uh as an well the thing is is we've got this three wave move here we've got this three wave move here we've got this three wave move here this could actually count as an impulse wave unless i move wave c onto this low here and then that would make it an abc so still a little bit unsure about that but we've got this um because really this could be um you know up for one and abc back for two and then sort of heading higher but uh let's go in and have a closer look at this on the hourly chart Okay, just get it into perspective. So we've got good support on minor group two, which is 65, 72 and 80. You can see the market really sort of sitting there on that. And that was our target back there for that shot. But um, yeah, so we were looking as an ABC for the A wave, an ABC for the B wave, an ABC for the this one here. So it can count five waves up to here as an A and a B and a C. I'm not quite sure if we should put this spike, you know, because we can count five waves from the end there down to here. So yeah, do we eat any mini miny mo? Not sure about that. But even so, even if this was wave one up here with an A and a B and a C here, we could see that this would be wave one one here two here three here and four here and then coming down for the fifth wave probably another little drop in that um but we should sort of be heading up uh higher at that point so i suppose going long above there wouldn't be uh, a problem thursday we could expect to be um, bearish and friday would be looking for uh this if it drops lower here then look for a classic trading levels pattern sitting on the 15,800 the top of group one and then we can refine that and move that there so the classic trading levels pattern would look like this if that was 15,800 the arrival the reaction first high above the level wait for that second high you can go long on that high you can go long on if it drops back down then this whole little pattern in here will be the same as this big pattern through here um, so you can refine it further in that um uh in that uh in that space so um yeah all good there okay so i'm going to leave it at that i've got a uh, three hour meeting in a as a responsible manager for uh for another company that i sit on so um i better get cracking so thanks for tuning in much appreciated cheers